there are dozens of programs through which you may be eligible to come to Canada, do a business in Canada, and secure permanent residence of Canada. My name is Sajjad Malik. I am a business immigration lawyer in Canada. I'm speaking to you from my office in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. One such program is generally called Entrepreneur Program of Canada, which is offered by several different provinces of Canada. Now, what are the few important aspects of this program? You need to possess a certain elements in your application, and then you should be able to demonstrate that you are the businessman who is required to come to Canada, who could benefit the Canadian business economy, create jobs, add to the taxes. And based on that, you would be able to first come on a work permit in Canada, establish business, and subsequently get permanent residence. The good news about this program is that this program allows not only the entrepreneur to come to Canada, establish business, and become a permanent resident, but it also allows the family of that permanent residence, in the resident, including uh, his wife or her husband, the children who are less than 22 years age and are dependent on him financially and are unmarried. Now, when we look at this program, what are various aspects of this program? What do you need to possess to know that you are the person who is required for this program? First thing, you should be a business person. You should not be somebody who's working for government service or in for the public sector or politician or somebody. You need to be a business person, someone who owns a business, someone who has the experience of managing a business, even if it is in a multinational corporation or another business organization, such as marketing director of a company or a business development manager or head of marketing or head of finance. The other element required is that you should possess certain minimum net worth. All the assets which you and your wife possess together, which have been legally acquired over a period of time, and the net worth element depends on which province are you going for. If you're going from one of the major provinces like Ontario or British Columbia, you may be looking at well above half a million of net worth which you require for this. Now, business experience is number one, net worth is number two, number three is the investment which you're making in a particular uh, sector, in a particular uh, province, in a particular city, and in a particular area. Then again, most of the programs, they start from 150 to 200,000 minimum investment requirement. And then there's certain job creation requirement for these programs as well. So if you are a person who has business experience, who has net worth, which he acquired through legitimate ways and means, and you are able and you have the ability and you have the authority and the will to invest certain amount of money in a province in order to create jobs in that province, in order to pay taxes, run the business, create some kind of positive impact on the uh, on, on the Canadian province or that particular territory and the, or that particular city, then this is the program that you must consider. This is a two-tier program. The first step is the expression of interest stage. Expression of interest stage is the stage at which you should not take casually. It's always advisable to engage a professional in that. A professional, by professional I mean a business immigration lawyer who is doing this program or has, has been representing clients in this area of uh, interest. Now, you have to strategize on your expression of interest. Submitting an expression of interest is not enough. You may be invited, you may not be invited. And if the chances are, it's a highly competitive program. If you haven't strategized at the initial level, you may sit in the pool for a certain number of months and then your profile might expire without being invited. So the first step, get an EOI done professionally, get into the pool of applicants. The provinces draw applicants every month or two. And then if you are invited to apply, that's the process when you have to submit the evidence of your business experience, your business net worth, your business plan, all other factors or elements where you're demonstrating that how many jobs would you be creating, which sector are you targeting and how would it impact the Canadian economy. So if you are approved in that application process, you are called for an interview somewhere in Canada, depending on which province or territory have you chosen. We had clients uh, being interviewed in Toronto and have gone even in the Yellowknife and Northwest Territory, depending on which program they took. 